Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to St. Bernard Acres. And a very unkempt <laughs> and way too much grass, St. Bernard Acres. This is Saturday. Oh, here comes Creamer. Here she com here he comes. Gotta feed him. Yep, there he is sticking up behind me. Uh this is Saturday, September 4th, and it's finally, hopefully, dry enough to let me mow. It's uh, somewhat sunny, somewhat cloudy, you know, mid-70s, nice breeze, so it shouldn't be too bad. But I don't know if this camera does it justice or not, but holy crap. The whole month of August, no mowing and nothing but rain. So this will be a long day catching up on all that and all the weed eating. But it's what we got to do. Hey, fat boy, you ready for something to eat? It's been three or four days since I managed to get out here, so he's ready for a can of food. But yeah, let me get my stuff together and get all things right. started. So I got to get out of the way before he jumps on me. Got him a can of food. Somewhere you can see that. Yes. He likes his friskies. So if he will let me go to the barn without tripping me, because he has to run in front of me and lay down, we will try to get to the barn, get him a can of food, get him squared away, make sure his table's still there, no raccoons got on it. Look out, baby. Oh, what a mess this place is. Holy crap. We'll see how much of a mess he made in the barn. <laughs> Come on, dude. Come on now. Move, buddy. All right. Let's go on in. Change my light. See what's going on. Hey, buddy. Yep. Well, I see you kept it clean. You keep everybody out of here. Huh? Except the squirrels. Hang on, buddy. Oh, yeah. There you go. Yeah, act like you're starving to death with that food left in your bowl. <laughs> yeah, he's starving to death. Wow. Let's see the barn's still clean. <laughs> but let me get him squared away and then go get the mower. I'll be back. All right. Got his bowls filled up. Fresh water. He must have a decent water source out here because he doesn't drink a lot of the water. Um, I'll leave him two bowls and each one has probably three quarters of the way full. So he's eaten here, but evidently drinking somewhere else. So let's go get the mower. Been so long to see if it'll even start. That'll be the question.
Holy crap. Hmm. It has rained so much. It's crazy. Yeah, let's see if I can get this thing started and get it out of here. There's a nice old bottle. Old Barb's root beer. Never noticed that before. get another lawnmower cover but I've got a tarp up there that I forgot to cover it up last week All right, as you can see, I got the mowing finished. Let me tell you, that was the hardest. I couldn't even bring the car in because it all had to be mowed before I could do anything. That was hard to mow with that Husqvarna. Now, if you all remember my Craftsman, that thing, even though it was 25 years old, <laughs> It would have flown through this stuff. It was very hard for the Husqvarna. And I had to go very slow. And just basically knock it all down. So Monday, Labor Day, I don't have to work. I can come back out here and mow it all again. Because you can see where, I don't know if you'll be able to see or not. I'll try. All that it missed because the even though I'd tied up the cat you know the it's a mulching mower but I tied that thing up so where all the grass would just blow out it still was getting clogged up so this will all dry then I can mow it again Monday and then bring out the parts I need for the lawn rake and give it a good run again 
sure will be easier to mow then. See if we can walk around and take a little tour. It's like 4.30. I started this at 1 o'clock. That's how slow it had to go. And that's how many times I had to stop and clean out the mower. I think that was probably the highest the grass ever got, you know, cut out here without it being a brush hog. You know, have my neighbor brush hog it or something. It was pretty rough. <laughs> but after Monday, you know, I'll cut it all again Monday. Like I said, sweep it all. And then take the Husqvarna in town and give it some much needed love and attention. Because it does need it. Now I will tell you this. I bought a new gimbal. This is a G DGI Osmos 3. Um, somebody sold it on uh, Marketplace for uh, $20. And when I saw it for $20, I said, oh, hell yes. Because <laughs> Gail saw it and mentioned it to me. And they lived about probably 30 miles away. In a small little town and I called her and told her I wanted it and she said she would be in St. Clairsville which is about you know 10 minutes away 10 or 12 minutes away on like Wednesday I said okay you know and we talked back and forth I was like look I can come up today and pick it up and she was like okay <laughs> So that, that was the day, actually, that was the day that we went to the uh, Shaker Woods Festival. Because we went up, no it wasn't. <laughs> we went there Saturday, we went up Sunday and picked this up, then met some friend of ours, uh, a couple friends of ours who happened to live in that town. They were home, so we visited with them and then we came out here for a while. It was too wet to mow last Sunday, so we didn't get to do it. But old Husqvarna, she did his job. This was very hard to cut. I was not happy cutting it, but what are you going to do? She gets to go in next uh, next Monday. And get some much needed love. I hear Creamer up there. He must have heard I was finished. Because he doesn't like to be around with the mower too much. Right, this dark down here. Upgrade no boogeyman. Quiet too. When Creamer isn't meowing. I'm surprised the raccoons haven't gotten together and set up a trap for me or something. Because he, they have not been able to get on that table since I built that thing with the PVC legs. Creamer has food all the time now. The only thing that eats it besides him is his friends. <laughs> I fill him up, he invites all the neighborhood around. So yeah, we got her. Got her taken care of. Looks so pretty, holy crap. Love how this looks when it's mowed. Along about October or November, it should be cool enough that I can rent that brush hog machine and get all this cleared out again. Get down in there. Because that's next. 
reclaim our orchard or what was going to be our orchard. I like the zoom on this gimbal. I have to do a video of this. Because it sure seems to work a lot better than the cheap one I bought. Although I paid more than I did for this one. And this thing is great so far. I'm liking it. See how it does from the front. You guys are going to have to look at me for a while. Oh, I don't need to zoom in on me, that's for sure. All right. Well, I'm done playing around. I just wanted to show you this is uh, still September 4th. And I got everything mowed that will work until September 6th when I come back out here and do it all again. But Gail may do it then. She's been had to work 10 hour days again, had to work four hours today, Saturday. So. She didn't come out today, and I've been riding the bicycle a lot, and she's been wanting to ride with me, and we did a pretty hard one, and she pulled a grown muscle or something, so she wasn't able to ride for a week, uh, but she's better now. We rode last night for just a short three-mile ride. I think she did okay, but... uh yeah, there's nothing else going on out here except peace and quiet and joy. I do have to hang a couple license plates. So I got a Ohio Veterans plate and a New York plate. And I'm going to go by the P.O. box on my way home. And see what else there is. So stay tuned. And we'll do a barn beam license plate video after this one. But uh, this is Joe out here at uh, St. Bernard Acres. This has been a mowing kind of day. Still nice. I didn't even work up a sweat. So either I'm getting in better shape or the grass wasn't all that high. <laughs> But, uh, no, the temperatures are great. Getting down in the 50s at night, that's where we need them to be. But I'm going to close this one out. Hope you all enjoyed it. A little walk around. This is uh, Joe out here again at St. Bernard Acres. I'm out.